New edition blog coming at you. Finally here after weeks and months of nothing for me. I'm back in the game. Check out the latest vlog, what's going on here in Colombia. What up? I'm back, YouTube. How long has it been? It's been like three months since I posted last? Gosh, that's terrible. Anyway, I'm back, I'm here. Jordan shirt on, repping it out, that's how I roll. Um, it's, been, it's been a while, it's good to see you guys. Hope everybody had a great Christmas and holiday season, New Year's, whatever else you celebrate. We ended up having a blast. It has been probably a solid two months of kind of less ministry stuff. As, as missionaries, for those of you who don't kind of get what we do, we obviously do a lot of church functions, we're, we're planting a church, we're starting a church for those of you who don't know. Um, and so we have groups of people that come over to our house called small groups that we hang out with weekly. We have meetings with people and talking about the Bible, talking about what Jesus did in our hearts, what God has done for us. And a lot of that kind of, kind of slowed down. When I say slowed down, basically it came to a halt for, for about a month and a half, which is the opposite of, a lot of what a lot of missionaries do during this holiday season. Sorry, we got crazy, crazy pigeons. What are those things freaking called? Like canaries? I don't know, dude. They're everywhere. Um, definitely not canaries, by the way. They're like parrots, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, so it was a real downtime for us. Not in a bad way. It was actually kind of cool for us. We got to take a little bit of a break. Got to hang out and just like, just relax and do what we wanted to do as a family. Celebrating Christmas and New Year's was off the chain. You guys don't understand what South American celebrations like till you do a Christmas and you do a New Year's. Now I know everybody tells me in this city that, and if you're watching and you're from Colombia, I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, just wait until Carnival, I get it. But guess what? It's still off the chain for Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve was like, people started cranking up at midnight. Like we're, we're sitting here like, what's going on? I mean, this is, it was World War III going outside because there was bombos artificiales. There was fireworks everywhere. There was stuff people were celebrating. I, my next door neighbor had cops outside of his house watching his door. What could possibly be going on on Christmas Eve that he had to have cops outside his door? We heard kids like yelling and playing and having fun at like 2.30. I went to bed at 2.30 and heard people out until like easily people partying on the street at 2.30. Finally, I just fell asleep at like 3 and they were still partying. So Christmas Eve is a lot bigger here. Didn't know that. That was a new one. Um, new Year's Eve, New Year, Christmas Day was basically dead. It was like silent quiet. Malls were closed. Everything was closed up, but it was just quiet. Now, New Year's Eve was another thing that was off the chain. Now, nothing ever shuts down here because we're kind of the business hub of the northern coast. If you look at the map, uh, Barranquilla's in the middle, Cartagena and Santa Marta. So we're called Costeños. I am not officially one of those yet. I haven't lived here long enough. I call myself a Costeño just to make people laugh because obviously this skin color does not look Costeño. But it was like this business hub shut down on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. We went out New Year's Day to go like, just get something to eat. The mall was completely black. They had the doors open, so we walked in and literally three restaurants were open. Now, what you don't understand is we have a four level mall. That's just one of them. We have two malls, both are three levels. One of the malls has two three level shops. And all the restaurants are on the fourth floor and third floor. And we go over there thinking, oh, every restaurant's gonna be open. It literally was like three. And so we picked one and ate there and it was fine, but there was nobody there. We were by ourselves. Craziest thing I've ever seen. So apparently New Year's Eve, everybody parties hard. Obviously we didn't because we have three little girls, 11, nine and seven, and no one wants to do that till midnight. We did stay up till midnight. Boom goes the dynamite. My wife stayed up. Hopefully she's not watching this. She never stays up. I, I'm shocked she made it. We did it without technology people. We just talked to each other. It's good. If you are watching this, honey, I love you. It's phenomenal hanging out with you until the wee hours of the night. I appreciate it. But going back to what we have been doing, catching up, um, we're getting geared up, we're getting ready. Um, we just got back from a trip to Cartagena with my parents. They came down with my sister, which was phenomenal, really cool. It was one of those experiences that you get not very often. We stayed in a cool hotel on the beach and got to hang out and go see the old city. Cartagena is to Barranquilla, is to business. Cartagena is to tourism. Um, it's kind of the place to go for people outside the city. 
Um, a lot of Colombians visit, a ton of Europeans visited. We heard French, German, we heard it all. I mean, I heard languages, I didn't even know what they were. A lot of British folks were there, that was pretty cool, but it's just a cool experience. Uh, it's basically, as we go through what, what Cartagena is, it really was the center of slavery, the center of the Spanish invasion into South America, Spanish conquest of, I don't want to say Inquisition, Inquisition was involved, but really it was the Spanish conquest of South America for them to be able to take the, so Cartagena was created as a fort for them to push all of their gems and their precious things. They found gold, slaves, that was kind of the center. So there's a big fort built, the city center is kind of surrounded by a big wall with cannons. It is a beautiful city, as you can see in some of the video, it is incredible. But it's also one of the saddest stories because there was an inquisition for Catholicism here in Cartagena that a lot of people were treated really badly because they were considered witches, they were considered uh, heathens, they were considered blasphemers because they loved Jesus or they just didn't worship anything at all. And so they were considered a witch, so they were burned, they were, they were killed. So it was an ugly story. And then slavery was kind of the center focus. It was the hub of slaves from Africa to get to the United States, to get to other parts of South America and Central America. And the story there is it, it's ugly um, and it's bad. There was a culture created in Palenque, which is kind of south. If you go south down the side of Colombia, it was created from runaway slaves. And now it's one of the most culture rich environments. A lot of the music as Cumbre was created from there. So it's really cool. But a sad history at the same time, a beautiful place. So it's, it, you're kind of torn as you sit there and watch it. We got back, we're ready to go. We're starting um, our church plant this month. So that's really excited. We've been talking about it for a while. We finally are buying the chairs. We've gotten the sound equipment. We've gotten some ideas. We're getting the website up. Hopefully this week, we're having a team meeting today um, to talk about what the website needs to look like so I can get that done. Um, we're really excited. The church name is called El Viñedo. El Viñedo means the vineyard. So a lot of people are gonna hear this in the States and go, oh my gosh, you're a vineyard church. No, we're not. Um, it's just a cool name that we like. It represents who we are as a church and what we're trying to do um, and what God did in our lives. And it talks about that in the Bible. If you haven't heard it, look at it or read about it, look it up. It's cool. Um, but yeah, it, it's been fun for us to kind of finally get back and get grounded after a couple months off. It was great to be with family and hang out and relax. We really didn't have a ton to do. We got to just hang out and go to the beach and be a family for a little bit. We also got to have a ton of fun doing some things for Venezuelan families. Uh, we ended up sitting with our small group. We brought all of our jovenes, all of our teenagers and young people together and our small group while the rest of the adults were working. And we were able to build blessing bags. And you'll see a video, the next video we're posting on this channel will be about what we did. And it's gonna be a short two or three minute video of what we did for them. But we got to go out and hand those out and people just came by the troves to our house. And we got to just bless people with bags full of necessities shampoo, deodorant, things like that, that just made a huge impact, toys for kids. And it was because of some donations we received from our home church that just made a huge impact. So it was really cool. As missionaries, we never expected to be, we thought we were playing a church and telling people about what God did in our lives and how he impacted our hearts. But we really got to act out Isaiah 58 and what Isaiah it talked about God pushing into their lives of helping the poor, the struggling, the widows and the orphans, and we got to share that with them and then do it together, which from a Colombian perspective, we've heard isn't very normal. Um, so that was awesome. It was really cool. Not to say that Colombians aren't giving, but it's something purposeful that we did and built bags and spent a couple hours together buying the stuff, a couple days worth of getting sacks of stuff together and giving it out. That was so cool. So we did 50 bags in two days. So that was really fun. So. Be praying for us if you're a prayer. If you're not, you need to find out what that's about and learn more about how we use that in our lives to, to impact our hearts, but really to kind of get closer to who we, who we find to be our Lord and Savior and who we have in our lives to change our hearts. And we know that we're sinners and we know that we're still gonna be sinners, but at the end of the day, God sent us his son, his only son that was part of him to come down and be with us for three years, three and a half years of ministry, and then die on a cross in the most gruesome way so that those sins are taken away and we're forgiven. So if you don't know about that, learn, find out. Comment me in the section below and I'll help you out. I'll jump on a Skype call with you. That's, that's what I'm here for. But 
it's been cool for us to kind of get back into the game and we're glad that you're getting to see some of our lives and checking out some of what we did in Cartagena, checking out what my family looks like in, in, from the States and what missionaries do and, and what, we are, what we get to do here in Colombia and Barranquilla and, and getting to hear the beautiful birds. This is the windy season, so people, you're getting the best of the best. Even though you can't be here, this breeze is blowing. Let me zoom out in my prison walls. Dude, the breeze is blowing like perfectly. It's beautiful out today. The birds are chirping. We don't, our mango tree, let's see if you can see this. Our mango tree doesn't have mangoes yet. Hold on, let me see if I can zoom this out so you can see it. It's pretty cool. Sorry, you're getting an up close personal view. There's our mango tree up there. It is not blooming yet. I don't know if it's even blooming, fruiting. I don't know what you call that. I'm not a freaking fruitologist. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. Check out the next video on the Venezuelan refugees. We'll get that done. You'll get to see my wife in action. But uh, pumped that you guys are around checking us out. Take care. God bless. Talk to you soon. What's up, people? We're back at it. Vlog time finally has occurred. It's good to see everybody. Sorry, I'm in my backyard. It looks like a prison. It's not. It's beautiful. My puppy's out. Yes, big news. We got a puppy. Let's see if we can scan over and see her. Yep, she's over there. Hooping. Can't, can't take that. No.